जो हम इस चैप्टर में पढ़ चुके हैं जो हम प्रीवियस लेक्चर में पढ़ चुके हैं तो बायोटेट सेवरेट लॉ के अंदर हमने ये देखा था कि मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन जो प्रोड्यूस होती है ड्यू टू फ्लो ऑफ द करंट इन एनी टाइप ऑफ सर्किट आइदर दैट इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन आर इन अ सर्कुलर लूप आर इट इन द हेलमोट स्क्वायर्स आर इट इन द सोलिनाइट दैट मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन रिक्वायर्स दैट The 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 divergence of the current del dot j should be equal to zero for such type of circuitry. Means, if you can state these words, you can say that for Boyle's seventh law, the magnetic induction B that are due to steady currents that is to the current that satisfy del dot j is equal to zero. Means. You are going to discuss the magnetic induction in such a case scenario, in which the current requires or the current satisfies the equation, the condition that delta dot j is equal to zero. From this condition, you get a very important equation for the curl of B del cross B. And this del cross B can be derived by simply calculating the curl of B in a Boyle and Savart law, because we have uh, reduced magnetic induction B in Boyle and Savart law, and we will just make a curl of that magnetic induction that we have studied in Boyle and Savart law in del cross B, and that 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 del cross B will give us. Equation mu naught over 4 pi volume integral j r1 del dot r2 minus r1 over r2 minus r1 cube minus j r1 dot del 2 r2 minus r1 over r2 minus r1 cube and its differential is b v1 and this derivative may now be changed to the differential differentiation with respect to r1 with a minus sign in the second term. Because of the symmetry between R1, R1 and R2, what does it mean? It means that R1 and R2, they are symmetric. They can be interchanged with the change of the minus sign. Therefore, you can rewrite this equation in such a manner that del cross B of R2 is equal to mu naught over 4 pi volume integral j R1 4 pi del R2 minus R1. Minus j r1 del dot r1 minus r2. Instead of r2 minus r1, you have written written over here r1 minus r2 over r1 minus r2 cube. It should be r1 minus r2. So I just make a little change over here. Okay. And in this equation, you have used another equation. Of the delta degradation, the first term, this one, is expressed in terms of the direct delta function. And what is the equation to use? Is used to to describe this expression in the form of direct delta function is that delta r over r u is equal to four pi del of r two. You have used, you have utilized this equation over here and converted this part into the direct delta function. So, after getting this equation, you can integrate it to get the value of mu naught j of r two from this whole equation. All of this stuff will vanish. I will explain in the next lines 
that how this stuff will be vanished and this will be converted into only G. Now we come to the second part of this uh, lecture. The second term, this one, this second term, can be shown to the vanish by means of an integration by parts. You can integrate this part by using the terminology of the mathematics that is integration by parts. What is that? You can rewrite this in the component form. This R1 and R2 are the position vectors. And these position vectors can be written in the form of components x1, y1, z1, and x2, y2, z2. You can write that one dot jx1 minus x2 over r1 minus r2 cube is equal to x1 minus x2 over r1 minus r2 cube del1 dot j plus j dot del1 x1 minus x2 over r1 minus r2 cube. So you have rearrange this equation into, into the parts. And this, this equation is written for the x components only. You can write it for the y component and the z component as well. And the term del dot j <coughs> over vanish by assumption del dot j is equal to 0. You can see in the equation number 1, we have started from this uh, assumption that del dot j is equal to 0 and the volume integral of the left side can be converted using divergence theorem to a surface integral which vanishes if the surface is chosen to lie outside a bounded region where j is non-vanishing. The whole key point of the topic is in these two lines that you can vanish the term using the divergence theorem and convert it into the surface integral and the surface integral will be equal to 0 because j is non-zero outside the bounded region means if you have studied the biotech separate law and you have, you have seen over there that if we consider a circuit in which the current is flowing in either direction and you, if you consider the environment outside that bounded region, outside that circuit really, at that point j is not equal to 0, then you can say these statements. Therefore, the final result which will be called the, the facial form of the Ampere's law will be rewritten as from this equation del cross p of r2 is equal to mean r over 4 pi j r1 4 pi del r2 minus r1 minus j r1 del 1 r1 minus r2 over r1 minus r2 cube into d1 v1 from this equation you can write this differential form of the ampere's law del cross p of r2 is equal to mean r j of r2 and now you apply the Stokes theorem to convert into the and in an integral form this equation number 2 you can apply the integration on both sides del class b dot n d a is equal to closed integral this is basically a surface integral and this is the line integral b dot d l and you can put the value of del cross b over here that instead of del cross b you can write mu naught j of r2 over here then this term equation number 3 will become integral b dot dl is equal to mu naught j dot n d a surface of integral and this is called the ampere circular law so this equation 4 simply says that line integral b around the cross path is equal to mu naught times the total current through the closed path. Means you can see over here mu naught times total current integral means total sum of all the 
current density is J. If you multiply J with DA, it will become surface current. Because this is the uh, current density J. So, this is the finally we got what appears the law. That was the differential form of the ampere circuit law. This is the integral form of the ampere circuit law. This was our today's topic. If you have any question, you can ask.